I normally like a mauve eyeshadow and even some pink eyeshadows, but I wasn't really sure if I liked this palette. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, I've had some pinks and some mauve color eyeshadows in the past that I've really liked in other palettes. There was an It Cosmetics palette that I still have. They haven't been selling it for a long time. It's got two pink colors in it that I think look great on just about everyone. But sometimes I see that pink eyeshadow look on someone and I think she doesn't look like she feels well. And then I'm also a mystery reader. I like Agatha Christie. And in the last few weeks, I was reading something, in a, either in a book or a short story, where every time they referred to a certain woman, someone in the room would say, oh, the woman with the pink eyelids? <laughs> I thought, well, okay, even back then, it wasn't considered a good thing to have pink eyelids because you just don't look well. So first I want to show you this palette and I want to show it to you up close. Now the thing that I liked about this was first of all it had a lot of mattes and secondly in the top center row it has a light taupe matte which is great for transition shades. In the bottom center it has this light brown matte which is also good for transition shade. Now it does have this pink in the center on the right and I expected that to be pink. Now, I thought the taupe didn't look like what it looks like in the palette, and neither did the brown. So first I'm going to do an arm swatch with the taupe, the pink, and the light brown, so you can see what they look like side by side, at least on my arm. And then I'll start with a fresh, face, actually my face makeup, but no eye shadow, and I'll apply it right on the video, and you can give me your opinion about what you think about the color on my eyelids. So here I have the three colors. Here I have the taupe, which is called Blossom. On the far right, I have the one that I call the light brown, which is Petal Play, and in the middle is the one that's actually pink in the palette, in the pan and this one is called Rose Bold. So on my arm they don't look so pinky but let's put them on my eyes. Um, I, I'll probably go with this one on the left, the more taupey one today since I'm wearing blue and let's see how it looks. I'm all set to put on the eyeshadow. I have my mirror right in front of me so it's gonna cut off some of this. So you want to hear a secret? I have cataracts so yeah, I have to have that taken care of. So my eyesight is just way off. So we'll just deal with the mirror, covering my mouth, and we'll get started. So I'm gonna start by, now this color is very nice. In the upper left corner, this one's called That's Classic. Just this creamy color. I'm actually going to put it on all over. Now I'm going to go in with the taupe, the one called Blossom, the one that I think gives me a pink looking eye, pink eyelids, and I'm going to do that in the transition area. See how pink that looks? Oh my gosh. called Vintage Rose, but I think rose colors are good to be mixed with taupes and light browns. It looks so pink in my mirror. Before I started, I looked at some other YouTubers who've used this palette, but a lot of their videos are like a year old, so I wonder if they changed the color. All right. I don't know that I can stand it. 
Oh gosh. And I wonder what you all think as you see it because you're seeing it through a camera and then through whatever screen you're looking at. So I don't know how pink it looks. Okay. Oh God. Uh, for the outer corner, the one that's really, the only one that's matte and that's dark enough is this one in the right corner called Forget Me Not. It's more of a dark brown. I'm gonna use my little tiny angled brush and dab it off. And then I can't see what I'm doing. I have to flip. Okay, I'm gonna remain where you can see me. I'm just gonna put that into the crease without going too dark. Luckily, this color isn't rosy. I mean, this, this turned out magenta, <laughs> but look brown in the pan. I'd be thinking, all right, what kind of tricks are you guys pulling with these colors? I like the color to look on my skin the same way as it does in the pan. I'm tempted to just put a little bit of this light brown on, just the one called Petal Play, just so you can see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna put it on my outer lid, just so, you know, you can tell me what you think. See it? it does look brown. I don't expect orangey browns in a palette called Rose. Uh, I don't know. Can you see that? It's not a lovely shade of brown. Uh, All right. Um, uh, so the one that is pink, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to go over that brown. Again, this is the one called Rose Bold. I was hoping it would be more like a rose in um, a pinky in an old It Cosmetics palette I have. Let me put it over that brown. Well, that's pink. That's what I'd expect that to be pink. Oof, wow. But it's so... <laughs> She has pink eyelids. Um, I don't know, I don't think it's a pretty shade of pink. I think it's a sickly shade of pink. On me. Oh, brother. And then for this light pink uh, shimmer, which is called, oh gosh, I don't know what it's called. Perf in pink? Oh my gosh, what is it called? Perf in pink. Oh, maybe it's supposed to stand for perfect. Oh, those are pink eyes. I thought it would be more like the pink shimmer in the Too Faced chocolate bar. It's not. So, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I'm going to wipe off some of this pink here. So before I go with that light pink and show you what it looks like, I'm gonna try on the lower, on the outer mobile lid, this one in the very center. It's more of a shimmer. It looks like a mauve. Petal, whoa. No, retro, whoa. All right, let's try it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this one. Okay, the one that perf and pink. The, oh. Like 
really see the card on there. That's pink. Okay, I don't like that. It's giving me pink eyelids and making me look sickly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that off. And they do have a shimmer in the in your upper right called Flourish. So let's try that one. So I don't have pink eyelids. It's very, it's very glittery, I think. It at least deflects away from some of that pink. I don't know if it does it enough. And then I'm going to go back in with that cream. It luckily doesn't have any pink in it. Clean up a little bit. Oh, I didn't line under my eye. I'm going to line under my eye with the dark brown. mirror. <laughs> I haven't put mascara on yet. Let's do mascara. All right, so this is a close-up so you can see how pink my eyes are, but I'll also pan the camera back. I keep looking at my monitor and looking at my mirror. Maybe I need to not look at that so that I look at you to determine if this is just the wrong palette for me. I did notice that that last shimmer had fallout. It's got shimmer fallout that I couldn't get rid of that's under my eyes. I don't know if you can see it in the light through the camera and your screen. Little bits of glitter on my face, but let's pan the camera back. Maybe from far away, they don't look as pink. I don't know, I'm looking at the monitor and it looks Okay, I know it's a trendy look right now, but I really would like your opinion about what this looks like before I decide if I need to just return it, because if I don't like it, I'm not going to wear it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this, especially recently, in case they change the colors. And then check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.